Good afternoon. Um, on today's little video, I'm going to be talking about going back and working on the Sniper EFI unit that I have on my 32 Ford Roadster here. Um, if you are if you followed this channel in the past, you'll know that earlier this summer of 2020, I uh, did some work on it to try to um, make it even better. And I felt um, pretty accomplished in that goal. And so now, um, what I originally had planned to do during that little time frame was to add this, um, the progressive throttle linkage to the sniper, but um, this little bitty part was sold out all um, across everywhere that I could find. And I finally just got one in and my goal now is to uh, show you guys do a walkthrough of me putting it on there and um, messing with the tune and see how it reacts. Um, if you don't know about this little progressive linkage for the Sniper EFI, there's a great thread on the Holly forums talking about it and some of the um, tuning that you need to do or that they recommend you doing um, to really make this run, um, help this with this, the system. And the reason I'm doing it is uh, the throttle pedal is a little touchy and they say this really um, helps calm it down. So um, we'll get started. If this is your first time on the channel, uh, and if you like this video and some of my other videos, please hit the like and subscribe down button down below. So here's what we're doing today. We're going to be taking off this fixed rate linkage and it links the front two barrels to the back two barrels on these Sniper EFIs. And so right now, as you open these things up, you can see that they open together. So the front two barrels and the back two barrels are opening up together. So, uh, you know, in some applications that might be really good say drag racing or whatnot but for just this street driven car it gets a little touchy throttle pedal and so what we're going to be doing is taking this link out and putting another one in that will just activate the front two barrels until about they say about 40 percent throttle and then it'll start kicking in the back ones and so, so this is a street car it hardly ever gets over 40 percent throttle and so you know hopefully this will kind of tamer down a little bit all right, well, that was super easy from a mechanical standpoint of putting this on here and putting that cotter key in there and getting it all locked into place. So here now you can see this is moving the front primaries and then they don't start moving until right about there. So that's how that works. So now I need to turn the car on, or not turn it on, I need to turn on the car, look at the handheld while I'm doing that motion right there to see when this starts activating at watt throttle position sensor, position percentage, and then uh, I'll download the tune onto the SD card and we'll go in and we'll open up the laptop and we'll do some little tuning there and we'll, we'll get to going on this thing. Okay, so here you can see my handheld. It's kind of over the top of the windshield. And we're gonna start looking at throttle. It's, I'm gonna call that 42%. Yeah, I'm gonna call that 42. And it said it was supposed to be around 40. So just a little quick overview to download the tune off of off, off of the ECU onto the SD card. In case you guys have never done this, go to File, Global Configs, Download from ECU. Um, you can see here that this is an older one. Um, we're gonna save as. I like to go in and like add the date and everything. Okay, so now it should be downloaded to the SD card. We're gonna turn her off. Take the SD card out. And go inside and mess with this tune. So we're gonna go to system. EFI parameters. Progressive throttle linkage. We're going to click that on. And we're going to type in 42%. We're going to save that. And now, 
what they say you need to do is go into your fuel graph and this acceleration enrichment and then AE correction versus throttle position sensor. Now we need to go in and edit this graph. Because right now this graph is it's thinking that all four barrels are opening up um, as the throttle position is you know increasing up which that's not the case anymore now we only have the front two barrels opening up um, all the way up until about 42 percent so the guys over at EFI System Pro they have um, a resource that shows you kind of a good starting point for these numbers so that's I'm going to use their start, starting point, and they say this is pretty much within a few percentage points of it, and that it's good for about 90% of the users. And since my combination is a pretty typical combination, I think this one's probably going to get me in the ballpark. But they apparently also have an Excel sheet, which can, you can enter some parameters in there, they can, and that will get you even closer so if I don't like this I will reach out to them and talk to them about it and see what we need to do so here you can see this is where the throttle the back two barrels are going to start opening up so this one we're going to kick back up So that is their edited graph. I'm just going to double check this one more time to make sure I've entered in all the numbers correctly. It appears that I have. I'm going to save this. Back out in the car. We're going to put the SD card back in here. Turn on the power to the car. Okay, file, global configs, I'm going to scroll down, there our new configure is, upload to ECU, that is the one we want, then we're going to turn off ignition for four seconds for new config to take effect, okay. All right. Let's put the monitor back on. And let's give their start. Started right up, just like EFI should, I guess. So we're gonna let her warm up for a little bit, and then I'll probably go for a ride here in a second. So you can see this. You can see these front two barrels here are getting fuel, and then these back two are not. I just wanted to take the air cleaner off and show you real quick, make sure it was working. So just real quick, wanted to show you that. I've got the hood side put back on. I've got the gate open. Uh, I'm going to go for the first drive right now and we'll see how it does. Started right up. All right, so I just got back from my first drive with the progressive linkage installed. First impressions are throttle pedal much much better um, it's smoother lighter touch um, it's not so hard to press the car isn't so whiplash inducing when you you know take off from a stop um, it seems to be a little bit smoother um, other observations i know online and some of the forums and other resources i've read that they say this doesn't affect um, fuel mileage um and i i don't know if i agree with that just watching the handheld while driving i was seeing that the ecu was taking out a lot of 
fuel um, during the drive. And so it, it might, like in one, I can see it both ways. In one way, I can see it less air going into the motor would cause neat, would mean that you were going to use less fuel. But I also see the inverse of that is instead of having four barrels open to go to a certain speed, now you've only got two. So those two are cracked open the same amount or more to let in the same amount of air. So it's either, you know, going 40 miles an hour, maybe the motor only needs 300 CFM of air, you know, across four barrels, that's, you know, the barrels are just open a little bit, but across two, they're open a lot more. So I don't know, but I mean, I could see on the handheld that it was subtracting fuel out of it while driving. So I don't know, we'll see. I don't have really anything to compare it to because I've never really, you know, tracked the gas mileage on this thing because I do believe in it's miles per gallon and not miles per gallon, but we'll see. Um, the other thing I noticed, it seems like it idles smoother. Um, and I don't know if that's because it's harder to control the idle with four fuel injectors going and it's easier for the motor to control the idle with just controlling two fuel injectors going. So I don't know about that. Those are all like discussion pieces. I'm sure that, you know, we can debate. If you have an opinion on that, leave me a comment down below and I'd be happy to hear your, your thoughts on it. But I mean, overall for me, I'm very happy. I don't think I'll be putting that um, one to one throttle linkage back on at all. I, I like it like this. So um, I'm happy. So I can't wait to drive it more. But unfortunately, we're in the middle of winter or winter is, you know, we're kind of in the middle of it. So uh, I got a good day today to do it. So I took advantage of that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Look for more videos soon. I hope to do a lot of things um, this year adding more videos and uh, you know if you've made it this far and you're not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button down below I'd really appreciate it and uh, hit the like and maybe even throw me a comment tell me how I'm doing thanks have a great rest of your day